Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a good one for you on Spot the Liberal today. So, the Trump Biden election chaos continues. The media wants you to think it's over. Guess what? It ain't over yet. Because all those falsified votes that were tallied, they were tallied right after the election. Which is why, if you people that fall for this stuff, keep falling for this stuff, you'll grow up to be a freaking news reporter. You understand? I mean, it is really, really not that difficult to understand. I mean, that's all the media does. That's all the mainstream media does. They lie, they cheat, they steal. All right, here we go. Guess what? You came to the right place. Ah! Ah! Okay. Now, Tony Benn once said, I don't think people realize how the establishment became established. It simply stole the land and property off the poor, surrounded themselves with weak-minded psychopaths for protection, gave themselves titles, and have been wielding power ever since. And you know what? He's absolutely correct. Tony Benn hit the nail right on the head, and he explains to us through this statement how the establishment works. They're power-hungry attention whores who do nothing but obstruct their power and abuse their power whenever and however and wherever they damn well choose. And this has been going on for decades. You understand, people? This has been going on for so many years and quite a few decades that, quite frankly, you might even say it looks like the freaking Titanic. You understand? Now, the ship in question, as you might notice, are the Democrats thinking they've won. Meanwhile, the iceberg is not even 300 yards in front of them, and they're heading right for it, and they're all going to sink right to the bottom of the ocean. And you know what the funny part of it is? The funny part of it is, they're going to be so far down the ocean that you won't be able to see them. That's how far down they're going to be. And by that point, not even, not even God could be able to pluck them out. Okay, maybe I'm just exaggerating a little bit. But the Supreme Court is the Supreme Court for a reason. To make sure that people like this don't get into our White House. Do you understand? You know Joe Biden, the drag queen? Yeah, that's him. (laughs) That's funny. Oh my God. It's good to make fun of Joe Biden, a 48-year veteran of politics. Which means he has a D next to his name, which means he's a dumbass. (laughs) You get it now? (laughs) I guess the D in Democrat stands for dumbass because, simply put, Democrats are a bunch of sissies. They're a bunch of pussies. They don't freaking think before they speak. And you know, all this is going to go up in smoke. Just like everything the Democrats try to do, it's all going to go up in smoke. And it's so funny to me, and I'd love to think, I would love to think the Democrats are this force to be reckoned with that nobody can touch them and nobody can hurt them and nobody can do anything to them but in reality they're a bunch of grumpy old 
nursing home rejects who can't even go one press conference without shitting themselves. I'm serious. These people are that freaking old. The average age of a person in Congress is 62 years of age. That is way too high. And to be quite blunt about it, we need to lower that age a little bit by getting rid of these old geezers. What do you think? By the way, Joe Biden marked himself safe from abandoning his laptop with pics of himself smoking crack and emails proving that his son let his father do a quid pro quo with Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Democrats were claiming that Trump was colluding with freaking Ukraine and Russia, but look what happened to them. Now they're just a satire of themselves. So meet the fuck-ups. You've got Nancy Pelosi, who loves to smell Jerry Nadler's shit. you got Barack Obama, a communist sellout monkey. you got Joe Biden, a man who can't even count to ten anymore because he's too damn old. you got Adam full of shit Schiff, someone who regularly eats shits and dies. You've got another dumbass in Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And then, of course, the biggest loser in the history of womanhood. Of course, I'm talking about Hillary Rodham Clinton. What do these people have in common? I don't know, except they're all screw-ups who intentionally compromised this country's election this year. Oh, by the way, scientists have proved that 2,904,000,000,583,181 people on the earth did not bother to read the number that I just pointed out to you. That's not to say that they're lazy, it's just that they overlook a bunch of shit. Not that there's anything wrong with that, there's not. And apparently in this nation, it's okay to be stupid. It's socially acceptable to be stupid. It, quite frankly, is encouraged. And I'd love to think that Americans aren't the stupidest people on earth. But when you have 70 million people who are stupid and clueless enough to willingly try to elect a man with dementia who has been a known pedophile for decades you know that something is probably wrong. And you know what the funniest part about that is? Those same 70 million people, they are so brainwashed that they are practically beyond repair. Which reminds me, scientists have also proven that the majority of Americans who voted for Joe Biden are Democratic suck-ups who have no drive or motivation to do anything but want everything handed to them for free on a golden platter. These same Democratic voters are also stupid, infantile, refuse to concede when a Republican becomes elected to leave, pour detergent on their bodies to get free health care, won't believe that China colluded with Democrats to steal the last four election cycles between 2008 and 2020, despite irrefutable evidence pointing to such a fact, think that Tide Pods are a delicatessen meant to be served in restaurants instead of being served in things meant to clean your dishes in a dishwasher and assume that George Soros is a philanthropist knowing all too well of his lifelong ambition to turn America into Nazi Germany since at least, at least, the 1970s. Pretty cool, huh? You didn't think I knew all that shit, did you? Of course I did, because I've been doing my research, because I know things, and I see things, and when I see things, I can't unsee them, and when I can't unsee them, you know what happens next. I talk about it. And when I talk about it, you, the people of YouTube, get to hear it right here 
on Skull Media Enterprises Channel 2 because I can't get into my old one now. It figures, doesn't it? It really does. And here's the thing. These same Democrats, some of them, when they get high, they think that the time of year is Obama and the time of day is Obama because Obama, because that's all they talk about. They talk about how a black man became president of America for eight years and created all this hope and change, when in reality, the only hope and change he's created was for his family's fat wallets, which were fat enough already. Go figure, right? Talk about corruption. Let me tell you something, people. Corruption is going on under your noses, under my nose, as well, every single freaking day. And you know why? Because everything happens for a reason, and those that are willing to fall for it will get nothing in return. By the way, I had to make a call real quick from my phone company. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I made a call to my phone company. Now, moving on, this is what our society has become. A bunch of suck-ups who depend on their parents. You know, I, I don't really depend on mine anymore because one of them's dead and the other one's living in an RV with my older cousin. But that's beside the point. The point is, there's a doctor that had to deal with a woman who had all these luxuries but couldn't afford to take care of herself. Check this out. He says, During my shift in the emergency room last night, I had the pleasure of evaluating a patient whose smile revealed an expensive shiny gold tooth whose body was adorned with a wide assortment of elaborate and costly tattoos, who wore a very expensive brand of tennis shoes, and who also chatted on a new cellular telephone equipped with a popular R&B ringtone. While glancing over her patient chart, I happened to notice that her payer status was listed as Medicaid. During my examination of her, the patient informed me that she smokes more than one costly pack of cigarettes every day and somehow still has money to buy pretzels and beer. And you in our Congress expect him to pay for this woman's health care? What, are you shitting me? He goes on to say, I contend that our nation's health care crisis is not the result of a shortage of quality hospitals, doctors, or nurses. Rather, it is the result of a crisis of culture, a culture in which it is perfectly acceptable to spend money on luxuries and vices while refusing to take care of oneself or, heaven forbid, persage health insurance. Is it... It is also a culture, excuse me, based on the irresponsible credo that I can do whatever I want because someone else will always take care of me and fuck America. Once the government fixes this culture crisis that rewards irresponsibility and dependency, the result of how quickly America's healthcare disabilities will disappear or rather, difficulties, would be shocking. I should also point out, I should point out, first and foremost, why do people continue to ask me to fall for their Bitcoin and free money bullshit when they know I'm just going to flat out say no? I had a conversation, a conversation with this guy named Anthony. This guy means well, his heart's in the right place, but he's in the wrong profession. Clearly in the wrong profession. Now, he said in my messenger conversation to him that he saw my name on Canib. He asked me if I heard of them, and I said no. I asked him what it stands for. And what they're about. 
He says that it's about Christmas and New Year's bonus. Randomly giving to selected people to take care of kids, buy houses, pay rent, and maintain the standard of living for the festive season. Have you heard from them? I have not a heard or a single peep from them. So, I guess they chose me then? And this is me recreating the conversation. They compensate me 30,000 pounds when I apply for it. The money is free, which I won't have to pay it back. Did you get yours from them too? Hell no. Now here's where this really gets interesting. I wish there was such a thing as free money though. I spelled thing wrong. I mean, if money's this easy to get, everyone in their families would be getting it. In fact, I didn't even apply. I think you should contact the claiming agent now to confirm if your name is still on the winner's list so that you too can claim yours. Do you know how to do that? Is there a fee involved? And he gives it away right there. Yes! Then I'm sorry, but you're wasting my time. There's no such thing as free money if you have to pay a fee to get it. No, you're not going to pay anything to get it. I don't pay anything to get mine from them. I get it free without paying them. Except he spelled free without the R. He got the F and the E's right, but forgot to add an R in the word free. I get it free without paying them. <laughs> what a moron. Not trying to be mean, but I prefer to earn my money by doing things like hauling molts and getting a job at a Dollar General. How else did I manage to get $1,700 in eight months just by hauling mulch down the hill? I'm serious about the program. I don't pay anything to get mine. I know it, but I find it next to impossible to believe. There's another thing going on where you can win free money by playing games on a smartphone, but I'm too smart to fall for that either. I can't lie to you. It's real and legit. Well... I'm going to stop this right here for a moment before I continue and say that if this is real and legit, why would you want to pay something to get free money? Why? Just why? Here's how I responded. Okay, get this. Sometimes if you want to earn money, you've got to be willing to sweat, bleed, and even cry for it. That's why we have job fields like construction work, teaching, policing, science, and other lines of work. It's easy to get a job as a restaurant worker, too, so long as you've got a resume on file and a bit of experience on your side. Then he tries to link me to the Facebook page of some guy named Agent Johnson Smith Eric. He says, Click on the send messages box and send them text now. To make sure that you're to claim your winning money now, okay? Message them right now and let them know that a beneficiary asked you to contact them that you have not gotten your free winning money. Except it's not free, you have to pay a fee to fucking get it. That's what I'm trying to get through this guy's head. But he won't listen to that because he's clearly a Democrat. Okay, here's how I responded. I'll share a story with you. I was in a group home setting for 43 months, and after years of looking for employment, I landed my first paying job as a lobby cleaner at McDonald's. I got paid $8.25 hourly to mop and sweep, maintain clean tables and bathrooms and chairs, pick up tea barrels, and putting them over to the drink area. It was the greatest 12 months of my life up until my first brother-in-law tragically killed himself. This actually happened, by the way. That's when I realized I needed a change of location, so I left my job on the best of terms. And the manager I had at the time, Rocio, said I could keep my work uniform as a souvenir, and that was very nice of her, so I did. Oh, just try to message them right now so you can claim your winning money from them also. So first you said there was a fee. Now you claim there's not. So is there a fee or not? You said you couldn't lie to me, didn't you? But he's going to assume that there's not a fee, even though he said right out the gate when I asked him if there was going to be a fee, that there was, in fact, a fee. But then he backpedals and says, and he continues to tell this lie. He says, no, I'm serious about this. You ever heard of Bernie Madoff? I responded. If you haven't, I can tell them. I can tell you about them. I can tell you about them. 
He responds, Just message them right now so you can get your winning money from them. Did you know that Bernie Madoff was a guy who used tactics pretty similar to this and managed to con millions of people out of their money? He's now serving 150 years in the slammer for being the greatest conman and fraud in history. And he almost, almost got away with it. Almost got away with it. And at this point, he's still dead set on trying to get me to fall for his crap, but I'm, I'm just not falling for it. I'm sorry. I just don't believe that it's genuine. I don't believe that it's real. Now, the money that Ellen gives away on her show, you know, the Ellen DeGeneres show, that's real. This money is not real. It's real and legit. This program is for real. It's less than two months until New Year's. Do you think, don't you think that Canib would be doing this in December rather than November? Or could this be a year-long tradition? Besides, it's not even snowing yet. Then he sends me a picture of the money that he got. Claiming that he got his money for free, but... Like I said before, I'm not falling for it because I know better. Clearly, I know better than to fall for this stuff. Facebook Messenger even warns me about things like this because at least I know what to do. You're damn right I'm going to capture it on my phone, screenshot style, and I'm going to upload it to YouTube for all the world to see because people need to be aware of this shit. This is real. It happens to people every day. People get scammed. And then he shows me another picture of the box of money that he claimed to get. And he said, That's my winning money package. I got them from them and isn't by force for you to claim the money. But I'm going to advise you not to lose up this great blessing and opportunity, okay? Do they ship to the United States, I asked him. And where do they get all this money from? It's got to come from somewhere. Now, you would think that the money comes from a Federal Reserve Bank or something, right? Or the U.S. Treasury, but the guy is clearly a British man. I should have been using a British accent this whole time, but I'm going to keep going because it's my video and I'll do what the fuck I want. Basically, what I'm saying is people are naive enough, I mean, if people are naive enough to fall for this bullshit on a daily basis, they're naive enough to vote a dementia-suffering pedophile into the White House. It's just that simple. He goes on to say, The money is free because of December. They're just doing December bonus. December's not coming for at least two weeks, Anthony, I tell him. To all Facebook people! So they're worldwide? I'm serious! <laughs> <laughs> I then respond, that's what Barack Obama said when he promised open change to America. Instead, what we got was eight years of a Muslim terrorist from Kenya treating the American presidency like a George Carlin comedy show from the early 2000s. Get that. I mean, it's just... I don't know, people lack common sense nowadays. They don't have any common sense. They don't have any common sense. They don't have any. They don't. Really, they don't. He then says to me, and I quote, You think I'm joking about this or what? This also happened to me. When my old friend told me about this, I was thinking, that is a scam. But later I messaged the free agent, Johnson Smith Eric, who was charging the winning money. And the agent told me what to do, and I got that, and did that, and I got my winning money package. In exactly time, he gave. So I really saw your profile name on his winner's list, and I'm trying to tell you, don't want to hear me isn't by force for you to claim the money, okay? And then I respond very simply, I'm just not convinced. Sorry about that. He gave me a thumbs up. I gave him a thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're smart like me, you won't fall for this shit. You also won't fall for people like Joe Biden, who had a cancer charity 
that spent millions that they got from you, the taxpayers, on their salaries. But they didn't spend a damn penny on research. Not one damn dime. Not one goddamn dime. Not one dime. Not one dime. Not one dime. Oh, they, they got millions off the taxpayers, and they spent it on their salaries, but they didn't spend any money on research, apparently, because they're Democrats, and they're above the fucking law. Yes, of course they fucking are. Considering they make the fucking laws. Figures, doesn't it? I mean, they're supposed to follow the laws that they make. They're supposed to lead by example. But apparently, somewhere along the way, Richard Nixon came along and said, Ah, well, the hell with that. I'm going to open this country up for foreign trade. I don't have to follow any laws that I make. And everybody else followed by example. And every single Democrat, since at least Nixon, decided that they were going into business for themselves and sold out to the Chinese corruption machine. Do you get it now? Do you understand? I mean, it is really not that hard, ladies and gents. By the way, breaking exclusive analysis of election night data from all states shows, get this, this is from gatewaypundit.com, thegatewaypundit.com. The one and only GatewayPundit.com. Millions of votes. Millions of votes. Either switched from President Trump to Biden or were lost using Dominion and other systems. This was published as an article at 6.12 p.m. on November 10th, a week after the freaking election was supposed to conclude by a Gateway Pundit writer named Joseph Hoft. This guy is legitimate. This guy is a legitimate independent journalist. He is the real deal. I implore you to check him out. You will not be sorry if you do. Because I am telling you now, as much as I'm alive, as much as I've got a cock and two balls, this guy is legitimate. You know what's not legitimate? Roy freaking Cooper, who North Carolina was stupid enough to elect him to a second term as governor, a second term that he clearly did not deserve, by the way. And if he deserved it, he would have been honest with us and told us, look, I screwed you guys over the first term. I'm going to make up for it in the second term. You let me, I'll do like JFK did, and I'll start doing things instead of pretending to do things. But no, Roy Cooper doesn't do that. He's a jackass that struts around like it's a king and talks gibberish. A turkey. If you put a turkey up against him in a debate, the turkey would win. But... Roy Cooper here would claim that he won and strut around like he was God or something. And the turkey would just sit back and say, Nah, man, I won. You lost. Get over it. Okay, so get this. According to Real America's Voice, Editor-in-Chief from Just the News, John Solomon. This is a credible source. This is the kind of sources, these are the kinds of sources that the media will never tell you about because they are that corrupt. John Solomon, editor in chief of Just the News, says Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, sent at least $350 million to election judges in predominantly Democratic areas. Are you fucking kidding me? Is that not the most Democrat thing you've ever seen? Is that not most is that not the most un-American thing you've ever seen? Now <laughs> This is just the tip of the iceberg first of all, because this is this is just the beginning. 
Not to mention what Joe Biden did. Not to mention what Barack Obama did. Not to mention what Nancy Pelosi did. Not to mention what Jerry Nadler did a couple months ago by shitting himself in front of a camera in front of a live global audience on C-SPAN fucking 3. Go figure. This source comes from One America News. This story is about a Trump attorney named Sidney Powell who says that the election results are getting ready to overturn... I'm going to read this article to you people, and you will read along with me in your head. You can't do it out loud. Just read along with me in your head. Don't say anything. Just hear me out. On an article updated 10.25 a.m. Monday, November 16th, a member of the president's legal team reaffirmed the fight to defend free and fair elections is not over. Attorney Sidney Powell, during an interview conclude that was conducted on Sunday, she said that election results in multiple states are getting ready to overturn. She cited an overwhelming amount of evidence the president's legal team has received concerning voter fraud and irregularities. Powell went on to claim that she has enough evidence, more than enough, some even dating back to 2016, to loss to launch a widespread criminal criminal investigation. I tried to I tried to combine the words criminal and comical together. That didn't work. But anyway, she specifically noted a member of Joe Biden's team is also on the board of directors for a software company behind the flawed and rigged Dominion voting systems which are also defective, by the way. The Dominion voting systems are as defective as the Durette's guy's dad's pool table that wouldn't work. You remember, you remember that clip where Durette's guy's dad, Daniel Walters Sr., said that this table's defective? Go check it out. Tourette's guy is love. Tourette's guy is life. You can't get enough Tourette's guy in your life. I tell you, you just cannot get enough Tourette's guy in your life. Anyway, back on topic. Let's continue with this story. Powell said the software dubbed Smartmatic, as in smartass, was designed for the sole purpose of shifting voter results from Republican to Democrat. She says and explains that it was a feature of the system that was designed with a back door so that people could watch in real time and calculate with an algorithm of how many votes they needed to change to make the results they wanted to create. Over the weekend, the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, brought attention to the company's alleged involvement while noting that the evidence will all come out. By the way, the guy that runs Dominion, this is the same guy. You know what he said? He said, don't worry, Trump's not going to win. Meanwhile, he's already won. Dominion has denied any claims its software was compromised, also adding that the election was the most secure in American history, more like the most insecure in American history. Meanwhile, Sidney Powell, Trump's attorney, hopes to reveal all pertaining affidavits and evidence of fraud before the election certification deadline. Now, if you're reading this and you still think that China isn't colluding with Joe Biden, you're a fucking idiot. Ha 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 You fucking idiot. Just saying. I mean, there's ignorance and then there's deliberate willful ignorance. Which side are you on? Do you want to be ignorant or are you just ignorant because you can't help it? I mean, the evidence is right fucking there. Which is also why when the government asks that you don't need a gun, chances are, you're going to need a freaking gun. I'm just saying, that's just my way of 
explaining things, my George Orwell way of explaining things to you, because you people need to know this, because I already know, and I'm just sharing this information with you. Meanwhile, thank you all very much for watching. I am very appreciative of your 35 minutes with me, and I thank you all. Thank you, and good night. Okay, guys, I'm out, y'all. Until next time, take care. This is a Skull Media Production.